Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the ultimate Google Pixel 2 set up on any Android device. Now to do this, we're going to be taking a look at the live wallpapers, the dock, the search bar, you've got some really awesome pixel style icons, and of course the widget, which is going to include the date and the weather, or your calendar appointments. So, let's take a look. In terms of the version of Nova Launch that I'm currently using, it's 5.5 Beta 5, and you need to have the beta to use some of these features. And you need the beta for the newest dock settings. So head into dock and then search bar in dock. You can see then you've got the options for none, above icons, and below icons. So taking a look at the above icons, you can see just what it looks like here. It basically just puts a search bar above the icons like you would expect. So head back into your settings, back into dock, and then search bar in dock. And you want to click on the below icons to get that Google Pixel 2 look and feel on your Android device. So as you can see here, it then puts your search bar below all your icons in the dock, and you've got everything set up and ready to go. Now you do have the option of changing the look of the search bar. You can go into desktop and go into search bar and then you've got a bunch of different options here. So if you want to have a square search bar for example, then you've got the option to do so just there. And there are also some options in terms of changing the icons and just in general the writing within the search bar itself. So if you want to have the full text of Google for example or just the G or have it in black and white or monochrome, you've got the option to do so. But again to emulate the look of the pixel, you want to just have the G on its own and you want to have the rounded style search bar. Next up is something new that I've recently found and that is to get the notification shade to change from your standard notifications as you can see here to get the look and feel of the pixel notifications just like this. Now to do this it is very simple all you need to do is head over to the play store and download an application called material notification shade. Now all the apps that I talk about in this video are going to be linked in the description down below as always. You then want to just change the panel theme to the O icon as you can see here. So then when you swipe down it looks just like it does with Android Oreo. Now you've also got the option for the Nougat version of this as well, which also looks really nice. It's a bit darker, so if you've got an AMOLED screen like I do on a Galaxy device for example, then this may be a better option, but just in general it works extremely well. Now one thing that I would say is if you are running Nova Launcher, one thing that you are going to have to do is go into the settings and turn off the gesture for swipe down. Because when you're on the home screen for example, if you swipe down anywhere that isn't from the top, it's going to bring down your standard notification shade. So if I swipe down halfway through the screen like this for example you can see there that it brings up these standard notifications for the Samsung device so head into your settings you then want to go down to gestures and inputs and then you want to change the swipe down now you can change it to anything that you want but for me I'm just going to change it to none that way when I go back to my home screen if I swipe down nothing happens at all but yet if I swipe down from the top of the screen like you normally would it brings up the new Android O notifications now next up we have the wallpaper and I've done a completely separate video for this which I will link down in the description down below but as long as you've got the Google wallpapers application and the APK that's in the description down below you're going to be able to get these awesome live wallpapers direct from the Google Pixel and Google Pixel 2 which look extremely nice on any Android device especially when you are emulating that look of the Pixel 2 on your phone. Next up then is the super simple but really useful Pixel 2 widget. Now the first way that you can do this is with a really simple application called Just Another Widget. Now this gives you really awesome access to your calendar appointments and also the weather as well. Now you will need to wait a little bit for you to get access to the weather feature, but once that's all done, as you can see, it shows the weather right there next to the date, and once you've put it on your home screen, it looks great. So again, hold down on your home screen, go down to Another Widget, and then just drag it onto your home screen where you want. Now you wanna have it kind of near the top, but not too far up and you don't want it to be too big either because on the pixel device it is kind of a small widget but then again it depends on exactly how you want to have it one of the amazing things about android is you can customize it any way that you feel fit another way to do it is to use kwgt or zupa now for me zupa doesn't always load in the metadata so things like weather and calendar appointments so for me kwgt is definitely the way to go however the awesome thing is the widget that you actually need which is trident 3 is available for both widget platforms so once you've sized up the widget as you need to, for me it's going to be 4x2, you can then go into the widget options and as you can see here I'm using Trident 3 and then you want to go down to where it's got the pixel style widgets. Now you've got the option of the calendar and you've also got the time and date as well. So we've used the time and date already so we're going to go for the calendar. Now for some reason it does have some elements of the time and date. So you've got some weather features in there that are really easy to turn off. You just select the layer that you don't want and then click on the trash icon in the top right hand corner and once you've got everything set and ready 
to go. All you need to do is click the save button, which again is in the top right hand corner. And then when you go back to your home screen, you've got the Pixel 2 widget ready to go. Now again, you can resize this any way that you need to. So for me, I'm actually gonna make it a little bit smaller because it looks a little bit too big for my liking. So again, all you need to do is just drag the edges around to resize as you see fit. So for me, I'm gonna put it just near the top. And again, I just wanna make it a little bit smaller from the edges as you can see here. But in all seriousness, guys, if you do want to get the Pixel Star widget really simply, then I would recommend using just another widget. It's got all the information that you need for your events, the date format, you can control the weather as well, change the weather provider, units of the weather, so whether that's Celsius or Fahrenheit, and it's just a really simple application to use. So as you can see here, I've got just another widget at the top with the date and the weather, and then KWGT just below that with all my calendar information. Now these widgets look great no matter what wallpaper you're using, so if I just change it to another live wallpaper from the Pixel devices, you can see that it looks extremely nice along with all the other elements that we've already done. A little added extra in Nova Launcher is the pop-up style menus when long pressing on an icon. So head into the settings and look and feel, and then go down to pop-up menu style, and you've got two options to choose from. So the first one is Android 7.1 Nougat, which is called Peels, and as you can see here, when I go back to my home screen, it's got a really nice look to it that allows you to get instant access to things like profile, sending a message, or a new tweet with Flamingo, which is the Twitter application that I'm currently using. Once you go back into look and feel, head back down to the pop-up menu style, you then want to pick on Android Oreo which is 8.1 and again you can see here that it gives it a more block style but again I personally prefer this one and one great thing as well is if you're in your application drawer like I am now if I head down to YouTube for example it works in there as well to give you quick access to any notifications that you may need. In terms of the icon pack it's just simply called pixel icon pack so once you've installed that go into the settings of Nova Launcher go into look and feel and then icon theme right at the top to change out for any icon pack that you want Want to use and again this emulates really nicely the look of the pixel icon pack where pretty much every icon has a really nice round design to it and everything just seems really uniform and that is going to do it guys for this video. Now I hope that you've really enjoyed this one stop shop for everything to do with the Pixel 2 to get it emulated on any Android device. Now if you guys have got any other tricks or tips that you want me to feature in one of these videos in the future, let me know in the comments section and if you've got any questions in general, again comment section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. Now if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and if you want to get some more great content in the future, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget guys, if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video.